Hi, I'm Alan Girding, and this is the Tuesday Night Playcast. And what are we playing tonight? Jackbox 8. So in order to do this, I needed to play with a whole bunch of people. Hey, my name's Solomon, and I hate the sound of children's laughter. My brother Michael. Hey, brother Michael. Life's short, so most of all, enjoy. Hi, everybody. I'm David. And despite what you might think, I am not Seth Rogen. My name is Robin, and I hate ricotta cheese. Hi, I'm Crystal, and I'm not into room temperature coffee. I'm Corinne, and my favorite snack is apples and cheese curds. Have any of you played Jackbox Party Pack 8? No. Not nope. one of us. Raise your hand if you've played a different Jackbox Party Pack, though. All of us. <laughs> That guy kind of looks like you, Alan. Our <laughs> options are Drawful Animate. Watch your terrible <laughs> drawings come to life. You get to draw two frames in this one as opposed to the original Drawful. If you like drawing, we're gonna like Drawful Animate. Next, we have the Wheel of Enormous Proportions. It's a trivia test. Job, job. Use other people's words to score the job. The poll mine. Use teamwork to guess your friend's answers and escape. Last but not least, Weapons Drawn, a social deduction game where everyone did it. Drawful Animate. Oh, it gives you yeah. little instructions on your phone. That's so smart. So already this game's improved upon the previous ones because I don't recall them giving you a tutorial on your phone before you log in. Corinne, you're a good artist too? The universe is out of balance. You've got too many talents, Corinne. The animations are in. All right, what is this? I'm bang out of time. <laughs> Cat flips off birds. Chipmunk terrified by birds. Barking the birds away. Kitty cat afternoon. Barking dog. Dog dances while the vultures circle above. This is Glitter what kitty. Like. Chipmunk terrified by birds. Oh. Corinne gets even more <laughs> points by fooling. Barking the birds away. That's what I voted that's for. Oh, that's what I wrote. My bad, I didn't vote for it. So that's some good points. Oh, Thank you. Oh, okay, great. Dog dances while the vultures circle above. Yeah! Yeah, Robin! You're welcome! All right. Right now, first place, Alan. Second place, Corinne. Third place, Robin. And then everybody else. I ran out of time because it kept on deleting what I was writing. So apparently this game has a glitch on your phone when you're trying to type in a response. It keeps deleting your first letter and it throws you off. So you're constantly trying to retype it and retype it. Only by muscling through can you actually get a response. It doesn't happen every time, but it happens pretty often. This is the best animation I've seen in the last 30 seconds. I agree, that's pretty good animation. She didn't like mine, she said it was awful. This is Problem Liquid, <laughs> metaphor for climate change, glass less than half empty, divine Ooh. providence, glass half empty, <laughs> spilling the water, spilled glass of tears. <laughs> This is Problem Liquid. I voted for it, and so did Solomon, and it was the right oh. title. Here we go, last place is Crystal. Place. What is this? Oh, this one is perfect. Oh. Uh, I think it's... I think it the game froze. Busy. My timer on my tablet stopped too. Yeah, mine is, that's also happening to me. Yeah, me too. The game broke. Nice and one, Jackbox. The game sucks. Well, you saw it here first. We're still working out the glitches. If it had worked, I think that was a lot of fun. Like, it's time for the Wheel of Enormous Proportions. Come on, work. Everyone's in, right? Yes, yeah, seven of eight players, we're all in. You have traveled to this sacred mountaintop. You may now ask the wheel any one question that torments your very soul. Putting in our questions. You fell asleep in the dentist chair and now you're a trivia answering board game meeple? Oh ho ho, I promise it only gets weirder. You're gonna take turns spinning me and you get points if I land on your slice. Earn 20,000 points and your next spin can win you the game. You have the chance to win points thanks to these two slices. But your odds are better when you have more. So we're gonna earn some by doing trivia. Which of these are considered to be roles in the restaurant kitchen hierarchy? The answers that fit are calling to you. They're saying, tap me, I'm correct. Only a few seconds left, so make him count, okay? And what were the correct answers? Tap 
take a slice. Choose the slots on my face to suck at your slices. But watch out, you split the points with everyone that shares a slot with you. You Karen, can spin that wheel. Big money, big money, big money. No this slice gives you hey, look at you. That's fun. Next spinner. It's me. Gonna spin this wheel. Big spin, big spin. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's right. nice. I like what I see. You're welcome, Robin. Thank you so much. It was very kind of you. Look at that. It's the scoreboard. Which of these are early hominids that came before Homo sapiens? Let's see how you've evolved. Go ahead and start tapping. I have no idea what Sometimes happens if I guess all of them. Path. Although, let me get rid of Homo not quite erectus, because that's obviously not right. I must give you sapiens credit. You're a little taller, uh, and you have a much better sense of irony. I got nine. These scores are out of control. This slice is yours. Bing! What hobby is the coolest hobby for a human to have? Some clues might help. It involves a lot of sitting quietly and waiting. And no, it's not filing your taxes. People who do this actively spend a lot of time waiting for a specific type of animal to appear. When people see this animal appear in the sky, they just sit quietly or maybe write something down it's very peaceful this activity is what you should do if you want to see a hawk for instance i mean who doesn't want to see a hawk i'm out of clues so this is your last chance to answer robin you're close you have to put ing at the end of it bird watching how many oscar nominations did titanic receive oh god and the correct answer Oh! What? And celebrate! What? It's a pod. With those points, you now qualify to spin the winner wheel. If you can spin and land on one of your slices, then you win. But land on one of the skulls, and we still have a game to play. Skull! 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 And now. Skull! 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 I'm gradually slowing down. Ah! Does Solomon get another chance to spin? What? Get yep. over here, you! Go! 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 Stop! Yeah! I'm slowly reducing in speed. Hey, hey! You're about Corinne. to win the game! I'm revolving! Revolving! And oh, that's game! Corinne wins the game! This is what a champion looks like. And so, it is finally time to answer your most personal question. Let the people cry out, Hosanna, the wheel has spoken! Very confusing. Somebody wearing a suit at the company at Jackbox said, well, we gotta, we gotta incorporate a wheel into one of these games. It feels like they just smashed two things together. I really wanted to see everyone's question rather than just see the wheel spinning a bunch of times. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Too many components. Oh. Why did we even make a question for Corinne who won? She got her question and it just gave you some random magic yeah. eight ball yeah. answer. Yeah. What the Lame heck? sauce. The job, job. 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 Use job. other people's words to score the job. I feel like this one's going to be better than the wheel of enormous proportions. I'm the boss around here, but I like to think of myself more as a buddy. A boss buddy. Water? Someone will get that. I've sent some icebreaker questions to your device. Answer them any way you want. There are no rules, except this one rule. You gotta use at least five words, okay? I love the desk. The desk is my favorite, it's so cute. Damn it! Okay, I ran I'll out of time. These. Now that we're all friends, I'm sending my first incisive interview questions to your I have no idea what this device. is leading to. But instead of typing your responses, you'll be using words from your fellow interviewees to answer the questions. Tap any word you see to add it to your response. If you make a mistake, tap the word again to remove it. We were just creating words for a word You can bank. also drag words around to rearrange them. All right, so you can hit the same word more than once. Here we go. 
What's your greatest workplace fear? Vote for your favorite now. My murder with a nips slip also down with Nebraska. I couldn't enjoy it, I just spend lots of time with pizza. Oh, I ran out of time! Nice, David. Synergy. Using words from three separate people earns you an extra bonus. What's a team building exercise you'd like us to implement? Filters, mitochondrial particles into the body, big breadstick conspiracy perpetuated by fake love. Oh. Nice work, Michael. You use three different people's words, so you get a bonus. How do you handle conflict? Take away passport and go. I catch up for a sweet, sweet jackbox. You got me, Corinne. Corinne's winning. No way. Can't argue with the numbers. So I have a confession. I didn't even look at the questions. I just wrote down funny words. Peter. Yeah, makes sense. Round two of questioning. Looks like there's a friendly competition over homemade office snacks. What do you bring in? Monster Energy Choose Shrinks, Jelly Beans, now. and Eyelids. My homemade murder confession on a saw. Quiplash! This round, winning answers boost your score even more. Synergy! It's the final round, and it appears we're missing something. Your resumes. What? Probably my fault. I was reading them in a park, and a big bird stole some pages. Just finished the personal statement that's already started on your device. It's your last chance for a home run, so slam dunk it through the goalpost, champ. I will sweet pants the juicy donkey. I won't reverse the potatoes. I will peanuts in the body. I won't kombucha the in body. Pass oh, no, 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 no. Quit flash, Corinne. It's God the last damn it, so Corinne. Let's really jack up that Kombucha's bonus, a broken word. Of course, we're going to vote for kombucha. Synergy. We've got an odd number of candidates, so I'm putting our top three together. I will hang with Christopher Lloyd. I won't saw Christopher Lloyd. I will whisper in them jelly. I won't request it. I will dry in old pants. I won't erase hot memories. Whoa! Synergy. Can't erase hot memories. I wish we had the budget to hire all of you and still pay for my yearly bonus, but we don't. Let me ask you all, what did you think of that one? Better than the last game. I liked it. A little long. For me, it's broken. There's ways sure. to game around it, which is never good. Job job, I already mm -hmm. broke it by putting in random words and my words were getting used a lot. So you put in words you think will get used and you get points yeah. every time someone oh. uses them. Oh, so you weren't answering the question that you got. You were I just, just putting in good words. Totally ignored the question. Oh, and, shit. And then also gaming it, you want to vote for the one that uses your words that you recognize, so you get those word points as well. Oh, oh I wasn't even I'm thinking. not that smart. I think the way they could have fixed that, randomly one of the rounds might be your legit questions and answers. Are we ready for poll mine? I already love the art on this so much. Solomon, your one guy's more. awesome. Oh my goodness. So here's how Let's it Let's do it, all. Team Elevator Music. Each of you would be adventurers off. will be presented with an opinion-based survey on your device. Pick the options that best suit you and be honest. Don't just try and show off in front of the cool new witch. 
You'll pick the top three for each prompt you're given. Also, be sure to pick them in order of preference. One will grant the most points, then two, then three. Each ranking carries a point value, so when everyone is done, I'll do some magical math and sort your collective answers from most to least popular. It's like Family so Feud, let's but ranked. With... What is the absolute worst place to buy sushi? Now that I've combined all your answers, your challenge can begin. Find the top three answers while avoiding the rest. For every correct answer, I'll give you a nice, bright Oh, torch. we were serving. Pretty handy okay, down that here. First part was just them and for us. each one you get wrong, I'll be taking a torch away. Since you've each brought a torch with you, you'll be starting with one. But enough chit-chat. Let's begin. Which door is safe? Decide amongst your team. Once you have a choice, it's up to this player to make the selection. Anywhere sushi is awful. Gas station, corner pharmacy, chain, grocery store, bodega, hospital, cafeteria, country buffet, street vendor. Good call. And so, Pole Mine continues. This game is very much a Family Feud style game with many key differences. One of the main departures from Family Feud is instead of open-ended questions, the survey participants are asked to rank eight pre-selected answers. The other big difference between Family Feud and Pole Mine is the survey population. The survey population is the players themselves and any audience members if any join in the background. Ba -ba -ba. But because the players are provided the answers to their surveys, they have plenty to discuss among one another on their turn. So teammates are likely going to admit how they themselves rank these eight items and how they believe the other team rank these items. However, this is a difficult mix since team turns go back and forth and back and forth. So this means while talking answers over with your team, you may not want to be too transparent in what you're saying because the other team can hear everything that you say. Therefore, you're potentially giving away answers to the other team at the same time. And thus, you have this brilliant balancing act of team communication in this family feud survey-based game. I think Pole Mine is brilliant and one of Jackbox's finest games yet to be made. It's yeah, my favorite one so far. Yeah, if there was any doubt as to how much we enjoyed Pole Mine, we continue talking about the game well after it had ended. Specifically, there was one question that really compelled us to keep on conversing with one another. It was a question about where would we like our evil layer to be if we were evil? The options were like volcano, abandoned amusement park, the Arctic, a city sky rise. Each one of us, like some type of personality litmus test, answered radically different. For instance, I said a city skyscraper because I figured the question was where would I like to live since you have to live in your evil layer? Where most of the other people took the question to mean, where can I hide or where can I do the most damage? But we talked about this long into the night, a lot of fun, a lot of good times, and that's why we're there. We're here to connect with our friends and have these fun memories and conversations. So Pole Miner, big thumbs up, can't wait to play it again. Let's go to the last one then, shall we, and call it a night? Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Gotta get back to my volcano. Weapons drawn, the uh, hidden identity uh, game. Here we go, right. everybody. Here we go. Not long ago, on a night, nothing at all like this, there was a gathering of the world's most ingenious detectives, who by chance were also the world's most duplicitous murderers. They had devised a unique competition where they earned points for solving crimes and points for committing them. Ooh. Each detective was equipped with two murder weapons. Look at the prompt on your device to see the first one you'll draw. But take heed, as a murderer you also have a calling card, a letter from your own name that you must include in your drawings. Do your best to hide the letter as part of the image, like so. If your calling card is too obvious, your fellow detectives may spot it and trace the weapon back to you. 
Draw two weapons and hide your calling card now. I love this already so much. Trying to hide your signature into drawings. This seems like a good ice breaking activity in like many different situations. The idea of hiding a drawing within a drawing, I've never even heard of that. Perfect. And not a moment too soon. So this next part of Weapons Drawn was really confusing. The first part, no problem. Second part, really threw us for a loop. First part, you draw a drawing and you have to hide your signature in it, no problem. The second part, however, we had to name an accomplice. Literally, our phone simply asked us to input a name. The name we input is the name of a non-player character we bring to the party. So what is the purpose of bringing in an accomplice? Accomplices are actually just murder victims. The game, for some reason, didn't want players killing players, so instead, we get to murder NPCs that we get to name. So then comes the third step of drawn weapons. Players attempt to match accomplices' names with the player that wrote that name. Once you correctly match an accomplice name with the player who wrote the name, you end up murdering that accomplice, and you get points for it. You get murder points. So you get an unlimited amount of guesses, an unlimited amount of attempts to match players to accomplices. This is until a predetermined number of accomplices get murdered. For instance, in the first round, six of seven accomplices got murdered. Bloody hell! This means just one player missed out on getting the points for murdering an accomplice. But why? Why make this method of choosing murder victims? Even after playing the game, my friends nor myself could figure out the point of this accomplice minigame. We understand that this game needed murder victims, obviously, but why not just have a single round in which everyone gets to choose a guest to murder? This way, there isn't an almost completely random distribution of points. Because again, in this mini game, you are just trying as quickly as you can, matching a name to a player name. Beep, boop, bum, bum, bum. And you just keep on going until there's no options left. Almost like a game of musical chairs. Moving past the accomplice mini game brings the next phase of the game. And this is the real meat of weapons drawn. One by one, players get to look at a drawing of the murder weapon found next to each victim. The point of the game is for players to find the murderer's calling card, which is a letter, hidden within the picture. The picture of your murder weapon hides the same letter that your self-portrait hides. Again, this part of the game was pretty clever. You're trying to find a hidden image in a picture that also has that hidden image. However, all of us players agreed that several rounds of this quickly went on for too long. We all agreed if there were fewer rounds and or if there were fewer players, this task would be much more rewarding. Instead, we just got overwhelmed and burnt out and just left somewhat confused. There are still some aspects of this game that are unclear to me and my fellow players. We were still confused well after the game was over, and honestly, I'm still confused as I'm editing this video days later, given the opportunity to dissect this game. Why the accomplice phase? Are we supposed to work together to figure out who made which picture and then vote? I can vote for myself as the murderer? Why? I, don't I want to get away with the murder? How exactly are the points scored again? None of these things are really clear, and in the end, we all agree that the core premise of Weapons Drawn has more than just potential, it has something great in it. There is something radical going on with attempting to hide images within images and using that to identify players. However, this core concept is quickly lost and honestly ruined and buried under the unnecessary weight of other clunky mechanisms. We sincerely hope that Drawn Weapons is stripped down and fixed either in an update, which is unlikely, or is remade into something better in a future Jackbox party pack. You thought I killed and my own my fat dog? Murder. So let's conclude this Playcast episode. Of course, the main question is, is Jackbox Party Pack 8 worth it? Well, of course that depends. It depends on how much spare money you've got rolling around, as well as what your friends are looking for in one of these games. I think an easier question is, is Party Pack 8 the best collection of the Jackbox Party Packs? Definitely not, as there was a couple of mild stinkers in here. Honestly, even the games that were clunky, like wheel of enormous proportions and weapons drawn, we still really enjoyed playing them, but we will also likely avoid playing them in the future. We'd rather play some of the other games. 
The highlights of this pack were definitely Drawful Animate and Pull Mine. If you already love Drawful and want to take it up a notch, boom, Drawful Animate is for your group. Pull Mine is definitely the most original and most refreshing game in this mix, and I know that I'm going to be playing it with my friends in the future. But then you have like the in-between game, which is Job Job. And while Job Job isn't necessarily bad, it is a bit easy to break, as I showed in this episode. And in the end, Job Job just made us want to play Quiplash, or, or at least one of its many Quiplash variants. But there you have it! Jackbox Party Pack 8. If you found this video even mildly entertaining or informative, consider leaving a comment, subscribing, and share the shit out of this episode. Your support is highly appreciated, and I hope to see you next week, because this episode is... FINISHED!